welcome to another webinar hosted by Lemnisk. The purpose of this webinar is to make you understand what exactly is a custom data platform and how you can leverage it to maximize the digital conversions for your business. Before we get into the topic, here is a brief overview of Lemnisk. Lemnisk is the world's first real-time marketing automation built on an intelligent and secure custom data platform orchestrating one-to-one -one personalization in cross-channel customer journeys at scale that increases conversions, retention, and growth for enterprise. We are ISO 27001 and 27018 certified. We're headquartered in Bengaluru in India with a global presence in Boston in the United States, Dubai in the Middle East, and Singapore in Southeast Asia. Some of our sample customers are Citibank, ACO, LiveSpace, AIA Insurance Group, and Emirates NBD Bank. Now let's get to the topic. Why do enterprise marketers need a customer data, data platform? There are four major reasons for this. The first two reasons are disconnected customer data and disparate data sources. Enterprises today are sitting on a gold mine of customer data. However, all this data is available in one place for the marketer. The customer's CRM data is available in one data silo, transactional data in another silo, website behavioral data in another data source, mobile app behavior in a separate silo, etc. Therefore, all these data are disconnected, spread out, and stored in various silos and systems. This leads us to the next reason, which is generic customer experiences. As marketers don't have an overall picture about customers, it becomes difficult to customize or personalize their user experience. As a result, they end up serving a generic experience to everyone. For example, there'll be different types of users coming onto the website of an insurance company. There'll be one set of users who are looking for a car insurance plan. Others could be looking for travel insurance, even others who are looking for health insurance. If all these users are served a generic message about car insurance, it will not make sense. It will make more sense if each user set is served a personalized experience that resonates well with them. And the final reason is non-integrated Matic systems. Most enterprises have a mix of software systems which include legacy systems, on-premise solutions, and SaaS-based point solutions. These systems and solutions need to talk to each other and share and chat data so that it helps marketers in tracking their customer behavior and understanding the customer's requirements. Now that we have it, these are the four major, major reasons why enterprise marketers need a customer data platform. Now the underlying point that connects all these four reasons is customer data. If marketers can manage customer data in the most effective way, they can draw valuable insights from it. But what are the obstacles to using customer data? A survey conducted by Salesforce came up with the following. 63% of users said they cannot assemble unified customer data. 54% said they can't apply unified customer data in their delivery systems. 47% said they cannot extract data from source systems. The other reasons include marketing staff and the technology staff. They, have, they lack the time or the skill. And there's poor cooperation across organization, across the organization and the budget is inadequate. So then what is the solution to all these obstacles? Enter the customer data platform. Customer data platform is a packaged software as a service product that is designed to build a unified customer database for an organization. So our solution can aggregate, centralize and unify customer information by providing a single user view for marketers to personalize the user experience. So now here's the customer. You have the customer's profile, profile data, and then there's behavioral data, and then channel data. 
So all this data is aggregated and unified under this customer. So this is why we call it a customer one view or a 360, 360 degree view of the customer. And let's take a look at some of the CDP stats. 44% 44 of organizations surveyed by Forbes report that a CDP is helping drive customer loyalty and ROI. Organizations with CDPs are 2.5 times more likely than their peers to have significantly outperformed against their organization's main marketing goal. 62% of all companies that leverage a CDP use it to enable individualized personalization email. 55% for advertising and 53% for real-time targeting. Now let's take a look at the capabilities of a CDP. The first capability is customer one view, as discussed in the previous slide. A CDP can process customer data in real time, ingest it, and then unify it to create a unified view of the customer. The second capability is intelligent personalization at scale. With the help of the customer one view, marketers can draw valuable insights about what the customer actually wants and serve him exactly that. This is called personalization. And if the CDP is driven by AI, it enables you to deliver one is to one personalized experiences to millions of customers. So if your organization has 10,000 customers, each and every customer can be served their own unique user journey. So AI enables you to orchestrate the right personalized message at the right time and on the right channel for each individual customer. The next capability is real-time marketing automation. Most marketing automation platforms run predetermined uniform campaigns across channels, irrespective of their users' needs. As a CDP generates unified user views, it enables marketers to craft the next best user experience for each individual user across their preferred channels. The final capability is collaborate and co-own results. Using the insights derived by the CDP, different departments within the organization can share data and collaborate with one another to come up with the right use cases that can help them derive maximum value out of the CDP and also help them further their marketing ROI. Let's look at one of the CDP use cases. This is an exit intent use case for a prospective user. A prospective user visits the fixed deposits page of a bank. He spends some time on the page and just as he's about to exit the page, he's shown a pop-up lead form asking him to submit his details. If he's really interested to know more about fixed deposit, he will drop his details and he'll click the submit button. Now this website behavior of this prospect is stored in the CDP. This enables the bank's marketers to craft a personalized message or offer about fixed deposits and target this user via multiple marketing channels such as email, SMS, Facebook or Google ads, or even ask the contact center to give him a call to know about his requirements. And if this user was an existing user, then you will have even more details. Since the CDP has recorded his journey from his very first interaction with the bank to his very recent interaction. So the marketer will have even more insights about the user and then target him accordingly. So this is just one among the n number of use cases that you can explore with the CDP. To know more such use cases, you can head over to our website, www.lemnis.co and you can go to the resources page, there's this slash resources and download the 116 CDP use cases ebook for various industries such as banking, insurance, retail, telecom, airlines, and hospitality. So yeah, 
with that, we come to the end of the session. I hope you have understood a little bit about CDPs and how they can immensely benefit your business. If you have any questions or would like to know more, please feel free to contact us at marketing at Thank you.